Shall we just block the pawn? It's almost symmetrical. We're not going for symmetrical though. Let's just bring this bishop here. You can fall foul of doing the symmetrical type thing because you're always a move behind. And you know, let's just keep it simple. Don't overthink it. There's lots of things that can happen. Now they're looking to put pressure towards here. So we, we could go and just try and castle on the queen side. But now let's just hit this pawn. Making space for the bishop to move. Or oh, are we interested? Could just bring the queen here and go on queen side castle. Going to capture. Pawn takes, and we can put a check on the king, winning a tempo to go and castle on the queen side. Makes sense. Not overthinking it. And this pawn has got no protection, so we do have time to actually take because the king has blocked the queen from protecting. So now they're starting their attack down, but do they lose? anything they would do if the queen wasn't protecting there and if we had a protector on here because we would get the rook so we're going to castle on the queen side how simple that felt you know making the movement towards the queen side knowing full well they're going to potentially become an attack in here not overthinking the the situation and losing tempo in terms of keeping my king stuck in the center now their king's coming down charging for our knight which doesn't have any protection there's no way of getting the queen here or to here or to here to put a check on also on their knight or we can just move the knight back i think we're just going to move the knight back or now because it does have this this rooks facing everybody at the minute so how do we improve we improve by getting this bishop off the back maybe sacrificing this pawn depending on what's happening to their king so what are they thinking they're wanting to try and get this pawn move so i think a knight move is in order of some sort to move this or even to just move the king to get to here but really probably wanting to do that we have a dark square bishop and the queen so he's probably not going to want to stay on the dark squares probably just wants to sit the king just here so it's a lot of movements to get the king to safety i think that's what i'm trying to say Right, so we're going to hit it one. Again, this pawn is protected by the queen. It's probably feeling confident with this king and just going to bring it right into the center. Nope, okay, so are they looking? Nothing, can't go here. How do we build this x-ray and through to the king with the queen? And then pushing the pawn or pushing the pawn first. Knight has to move. Should we push the pawn first? No, I think because it uh, because if we go with the queen, it brings his bishop here. But in any event, he still loses the um. Yeah, let's. Oh no, but he gets gets the option to push the pawn down onto the queen. So let's push on to the knight with the pawn. Good job we talked it through. Don't want to waste movements. So we may as well go with that. If they move, then we get the check on the king. They may move the king rather than pushing the pawn down. We'll see. Trying to take advantage of their bad situation. 
let's put the check on the king like we said at some point maybe and could attack their rook but the bishop is going to be attacking the queen we can hit their um king pawn takes rook takes attacking the queen queen takes knight yeah they could be brave enough couldn't they let's put the check on the king I think they'll just sacrifice the queen after all of that. Or are they just going to drop the king here? Options. Put a check on the king. It's not a checkmate because he can hide around the back. Goes here, he's hiding. He's scuttling away, isn't he? So we could take the pawn. Queen takes. Hmm. Bishop. That's great. Bishop. Still goes into the same position anyway. Nothing that can get it from that point. This knight can jump here with a check on. So keep the king. So if we drop. He hides here. Move the knight attacking. He moves across. Queen can put a check on. Something like that. That might be quite meaty, might it? Okay, let's give it a shot. Put keep the check on. Does drop. Bring the knight across. Right, oh, he's gone on to the dark. Let's put the check on with the bishop. I think he's going to find safety, isn't he? Ooh, okay, so he's not taken. It's blocked our queen from coming here. Move the bishop. So we can get the queen into the spot. This spot. Let's take, well, whatever. Put a check on. Put another check on. I don't, he must be running out of spaces now. Oh, the bishop. All that and the damn bishop is... Oh, doesn't it make you sick? Let's just take... Let's try and clear some space. Ah. On the bishop. Looks like we're just... Um, whipping stuff off the board, doesn't it? Attack the rook. No, 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 no. Which rook do we want? This one. Let's take this one. What's that? Give up? No, that was give up stuff. He's come down for the night. So it's not give up really. I think they thought this it was free. Stealth queen. That's just down to pressure at the end of the day. I don't think it was a clear win of any sort. The king got away, but the castle wasn't very safe. They're still playing on. All right. Let's put a check on. checkmate okay gonna have a look at the analysis on that because 
when you're doing these massive attacks, sometimes you think you're doing all right, but really sometimes it's like, well, oh no, you, you were losing. No, this is not looking too bad. Okay, let's go here. Go for the attack. We're looking to lean on the king. And we decide, well, we want to go queenside castling. And then their king is airy. But it's showing that they could have done something. Probably brought the bishop, maybe. Saying bishop e3. Saying this bishop here. Blocking the way. Would have sorted something out. Knight's not taken there because the queen's protecting here. So we can just go on queenside castle anyway, which is what we were planning on doing. Yeah, so it wouldn't have hurt our case either way. Yep. So yeah, that was the bad move, leaving the king airy. And we're just trying to jostle now, putting pressure on the king. Okay, just want to see if I missed anything because he was escaping. But it was escaping potentially to an unsafe environment. We've got pieces attacking the king area. Uh, it starts lessening a bit though. So it's almost like he was getting safer and safer. Queen e5. Attacking the rook, is it? Now it's got a check on the king. Ah. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> yeah, queen. Yeah. yeah, we did that. Yeah, the computer was taking a while thinking of what it was supposed to do. Um, Doesn't like that move, the knight taking. Knight d5, what is knight d5? This. It's not allowing this, so I don't know. Where's it going? And it's saying they have to do a mamby pamby move, trying to free up the rook. Maybe the rook could have just moved there. Knight f5. I f5. Okay, that looks um a little bit odd. Looks a bit odd, so we grabbed, grabbed. So giving them a little bit of power back, but then they gave us the power back again here. Massive skewer with the bishop. Queen's coming down for the knight. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Nice one. 